Alright guys, welcome back to part 3. We are going to go ahead and head into the tomb. Uh, let's see, slay monsters without using potions. Slay monsters within 360 seconds. Slay monsters without taking damage. That one we're probably not going to get. Slay monsters with ranged attacks. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. But we will try to do the secrets. Uh, I'm not trying to complete all challenges and stuff like that. But... If I can do some you of know, them, I'm gonna do them. Like you, until I took an arrow to the knee. Ah, uh, the wrong game. I smell something hidden. Treasure. Come on, Vicky. Go get it. I like the Skyrim reference, though. That's funny, dude. Oh, oh, you ain't dead yet. Come here. Ooh, what's that? I got a hammer and a secret place. Here we go. The secret ones are good to do just because you get some loot from it. What did you get? What did you get? I got the weapon. Ooh, shiny. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing pretty much all the challenges. I'm just playing this for like a playthrough type deal. I don't care about completing it 100% or anything like that. But And I think in order to, like, for them not to, like, respawn, you have to get the overkill on them. Not on these dudes, but, like, on the skeletons, because they do seem to come back to life. If you get, like, an overkill on them, that means that they won't oh, spawn who's again. that glowing blue fellow? I don't know. Let's tech him first. The day is done. Or not. And the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. Wait, don't go. Was it something I said? I don't know how anybody can complete these things without getting hit at least once. Seems a bit unreasonable. Okay, I guess we can just hop over this. No, can't do that. Okay, I don't think there'll be... The second secret's probably going to be further towards the end. But uh, before I started to record, it had me start in an area I already did, and I unlocked a card, and I think it has, it does some kind of like extra damage um, inventory. Um, how do I get to it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Release an explosion when hit in melee. 100% damage, 5% chance. So that's pretty cool. don't know if I've experienced it yet. I mean, it, it, it is only a 5% chance, so I probably have it. The other second area might be up here. No? Is it up here? Oh, this is where I was. Where's the second area? The second secret. Hmm. Well, that's the exit. Oh, hi. Alright, I gotta find this other exit before, or uh, other uh, secret before I get out of here. I uh, need a, like a wall or a hole in the wall or something. Is it here? No, it's not there. Where, oh, where could it be? This place isn't really big. Oh, up there. That's gotta be it. Ooh, snizzle snaps. Oh, that is not how you're supposed to do this, bro. You're supposed to... I think... You would think this would be it, right? I mean, it kind of looks like it would be. Is there another way up there? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, 
Maybe that's not it. It looks like it might be it, but... Because it has... And there's like a staircase leading from somewhere. And you hear some creatures. Hmm, let's go down here. Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, have we never been over here? Oh, snap! Oh, I completed that challenge? Damn. I was taking my sweet time. I don't... Oh, I might get that potion, too, for killing all the, uh... Without using a, uh... A healing push. Oh, I didn't go this way. Hey, man. Uh oh, you're stuck, aren't you? Boop, boop. Oh, you little. Bastard. I think the only challenge I'm not going to get is the, uh, what do you call it, the not taking any damage. Ooh, you know what? Maybe not, because I, I did these. Well, I think it says no healing potions, so I should still be good. Okay, this wasn't the secret, was it? How do I get... It's right there! I can see it! Um... How do I get there? Can I break this wall down? I don't... Why does this wall look all, like, fuzzy and stuff, you know? Oh! Dang! It's like an illusion. Okay. Well, that's good to know. What are, I want to know what these things are. And I guess there's PvP in this game, too, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Did I level up? Well, yeah, I did. Uh, level six. You now equip a second consumable item. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, gain armor. Inflicts 500 damage to enemies. Or do I want to kill? Let's do this. I like gear. So inventory, and we will. Oh, I got cards too. Okay, this one does 10% more melee damage. 200 health. 5% melee damage. Um. What happens if I destroy it? I wonder if I, you know what? I'll, I'll save it so I can sell it. But we will do. Um. Hmm. Should I replace the health? I kind of like having the good extra health. We'll hold off on that for now. Let's see what we unlocked. Purging flame. Uncommon. Is it a weapon? No, it's not. It's a power. Ooh. I, I mean, I guess we can give it a try. Oh, I have four powers? Common, common. It is uncommon, so I guess hot, that would be a better thing to use. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Okay, I gotta hop through here. Sweet! That's pretty dope. Alright, off to the next... Are we going the right way? No, we are not. I am completely off on this right now. I think we are going the right way now. Is there a map? Ooh, I don't know. Are we going the wrong way? Okay, so we came this way. Okay, okay, okay. So I think we have to go this way. This sounds right. There's usually like an X on the door. It must have disappeared since we didn't we went to it, but we didn't go through it. Okay, so this should be the right way to go. Uh, slay all spider nests in the labyrinth. Oh, okay. Use ten demon powers? Is that what my special is? Okay, so, oh, so we're over here now. So I guess you can complete those challenges at pretty much any time while you're out here. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let's, uh, since we already cleared one of those dungeon things out, return to the hub. Oh, that's like the main area? Okay. 
guess we could do some leveling. Do a little, uh, little grind sesh. Um... Ooh, there's a spider nest. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. I think that's the explosion thing where the dude just goes flying up, which is pretty dope. Ooh. Uh, maybe not. That seems like a higher like chance than five percent. This is by far probably the biggest hack and slash action RPG I've ever played. I rise <laughs> in the dawn and I kneel and blow till the seed of the fire flicker and glow. Who is this dude? He just keeps showing this up. Spirit doesn't seem hostile, more like confused. What the hell? Look how they all get dazed, that's pretty cool. It's a great attack to use if you're getting like overran. So this area is not very big, so... Oh, this is connected. Never mind, it goes down to a different area. Let's kill these guys. I don't know if they just keep respawning or if you can actually clear an area and it'll stay clear until you come back. There's some more eggs and stuff over here. Ooh. When we go back to the main area, I'll go check and see. If any of those vendors have anything cool to sell, maybe I can get a good weapon or something. I got them all. Looks like it. A fallen hunter. One less sword on our side. One more life claimed by the void. Rest in peace, brother. Need that, because that'll heal me. Whoop. I don't think that costs me anything, so that's good. Was there eggs over here? I sworn there were. Alright, let's go kill those two dudes that are over here, and then we'll go back to the hub. Okay, I think it's up here. 
that's where we went into and we came out and we go over here locked hmm is it to keep people out or to keep something in let's see if I can get there mmm return to hub okay are you sure you wish to return to hub this will reset monsters and ongoing map challenges it says return to the hub so I guess we might as well Right? I mean, whatever. Okay, let's see. Um, that fire-headed girl, Irene. She's a good hunter. Brave, but not reckless. She brought back some interesting items from her forays. It's too bad she'll die so young and pretty. Demons will have her, no doubt. Care to browse my inventory? I would. Oh, snap, I got a ton of stuff. Um, okay, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I... Okay. Um, what's this? How do you sell? Sell is Y. Okay. So I don't think we need that. We don't need that. Okay, what does this do? It's okay. So those can be gone. 44, 46, okay, 66, 50. What is my weapon doing? Mine does 30 to 56. What swords do we got here? 30 to 56. Um, okay, swords can be sold. Uh, this one does 79 as the highest. 85. So we'll sell those. And I'll keep these just to have. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, what do you got for me, dude? Got any weapons? 27 to 35, 29 to 30, mine does 56, okay, and that's what I sold, um, I'll keep those, uh, I'll sell these, why not, I don't think I'll need it, and I don't need that, can I sell that, no, can't even, okay, can't sell that, who else do we need to talk to? Okay, these are all just vendors, so we need to go talk to the girl. Ooh, can I open this chest? Oh no, I can just talk to this dude. Feel free to leave with me any item you don't immediately need, sir. You will find it in the same or better condition when you come back. Okay, so let me stash. Um, can I stash this? No? Well, that's lame. I can't stash a costume. <clears throat> oh well, we'll talk to her now. Have you changed your mind, Hunter? Will you join our fight? The city is lost, Your Majesty. You should find a way to safety. Battles are won by brave and noble men who see beyond their own immediate needs. In time, you will realize that we have no other option but victory. So, what brings you here before me? I seek permission to enter the Royal Crypt, Your Majesty. These are difficult times, and we need every man. If you report what you find there, you have my permission. All right, looks like we're going to the Royal Crypts, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys want to see the Royal Crypts, stay tuned for Episode 4. I hope you're all enjoying. This game is actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's got some very good reviews on Steam. Uh, I think right now it's on sale for I think $17.99 so it's like $2 off the $19.99 price tag so if you guys are enjoying it and you guys want to pick up a, a rather decent uh, action RPG um, I, I recommend it it's a, a lot of fun very good looking game um, and yeah it's just a very well uh, early access game it's no longer early access but uh, for what it was going into early access, they did a really good job, and it wasn't one of those, you know, letdowns of uh, an early access game uh, that I have put my money towards in the past. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in part four.